Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking about self-analysis. So with self-analysis, it is what we do when we're speaking and we decide maybe that what we're saying, for example, I'm saying whatever I'm saying, maybe I'm saying a speech and or maybe I'm just talking to somebody or maybe I'm just talking to somebody who's important. Um, I automatically feel that they're feeling this about me and in reality it is what I'm feeling about me and I'm putting that feeling on them and I'm seeing them as if they see what I'm seeing in me. So I need to understand that the flaws that I see are not seen by so many people, they're not seen by anybody but me and what I'm saying or what I think that they're saying or what I think that they are feeling about me is in fact what I feel about me it's not it's not what they feel about me it's what I feel about me and I need to make that distinction that this is what I feel and I'm putting it in somebody else's body somebody I don't even know what they think their heads and bodies that I cannot see through what they see what they think and another thing is um, knowing that most the flaws that I have, I don't, first of all, I, when I say flaws, I don't really mean flaws because I don't find anything that is really worth changing, that is really, really dramatically wrong that I need, that is a flaw. And I don't have flaws. I am an amazing person. I'm an awesome person. And I deserve so much respect and love. And another thing that is really important in any, any kind of, um, just setting sometimes I feel like um, that I did not turn that that um, that not that I turned the filters like when I speak I turn the filters a lot like I whenever I'm saying something I sometimes put the, this filter on and what this filter does is filter what I'm saying more and just caring about Oh, what this person thinks when I'm talking to this person and this is like really really like stuff that nobody talks about but it's stuff that we feel like for example I'm talking on the phone maybe oh what if these people this is what they think about what I'm saying even though it's what I'm saying to that other person and they probably don't even know or, or are not paying attention another thing that needs to be engraved in my head and not only engraved it needs to like I need to do some like brain shift regarding that particular topic, which is um, making the distinction that I, whatever I do, whenever I, whatever I do, whenever I do something, that I will be forgotten by these people in two seconds, like literally two seconds and I'll be forgotten. And another thing is whenever I'm speaking, I need to stop self-analyzing what I'm doing. Like it's, I need to not judge like what's the point other people are doing the judging and it's probably not even as close as harsh not even as mine is like way over here and I'm analyzing every little move and nobody sees that it's just me who's seeing that and it's really important to know my self-worth and my self-importance and just speaking right now without caring if my mom is listening to what I'm saying in the other room and just having being comfortable being comfortable just relaxing and always sitting back and although i'm slouching right i used to be i always slouch but i used to always i should always sit up and um be confident in what i say and be careless be very careless and mostly unattentive unless i'm in a classroom or somewhere that i need to be paying attention and just relaxing and not caring so much about how I'm perceived or how I look like when I say this or how I look like when I say that. And just always, always being comfortable, being just where I am, being in the moment, not caring about what's going to happen later, caring about focusing on what I'm doing. For example, I'm talking to one person among hundreds of people. I need to focus on just that one person regardless of those people, because I'm not talking to these people. Those people mean nothing in this particular 
just conversation with that person. Have a conversation and focus on what is being said in that conversation and not how the other people are perceiving what I'm saying in that conversation. This is focusing. And same with when like making a presentation, talk to one person at a time. If I'm scanning a room, talk to one person each time. Look at one person and talk to them and focus mostly on what is being said, what I'm saying, what is the point that I'm trying to get across, what what am I trying to trying to do? And also having that confidence and knowing that I'm not anybody, I'm like somebody who is just extremely intelligent, extremely smart and just knowing that in the back of my head is really important. With that said, thank you so much and until next time. Thank <laughs> you.